Okay. Secret is out. So Mike, here's, here's the good word. We need you to tone down the act and clean it up. You are cursing, you run around this gym amok like a madman with your filthy mouth and um, membership, everyone's complaining about you. You're, you're just like this wild man running around the gym, cursing up a storm, offending members. It's gotta stop, you're like an animal. Well, I'll tell you what, see that's gonna be difficult because I actually have seven personalities, I have multiple personality disorders, so three of them are nice, but uh, Chad and Peter and Ronald are just really wicked guys, so I don't know what they're gonna do, but I'll do my best to keep them in line you to rein them in. It. You finally admit it that you have multiple personalities. Yes. If you stop that toilet trash coming out of your mouth, maybe we could get this thing done. You know, when I have interactions with you, all that you talk about is trash. You try to put me down. And I don't want to tear your head off and shit down your neck, but, you know. R Richard, now that we have established that we're going to have a kinder, gentler Richard here in the gym. All right, then I'm going to say something nice to you, Mike. You look wonderful today. Thank you. If I was gay, I'd ask you out, okay? <laughs> Richard, what is your favorite flower? If you were reincarnated as a flower, what would you want to come back as? I think I'd want to come back as a daisy. <laughs> Pu Richard, puppies or kittens? Puppies or kittens? Yes. Wow, I like little pussy cats. Oh no. They remind me of other no, things. They're no, very furry. no, no, but no. I do like puppies. Richard, so. Richard, 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 no. I do like puppies. I had a puppy when I was a kid. My mother put it to sleep because it had ticks. I cried myself to sleep when I was a little kid, and it affected me mentally. It made me a psycho. By the way, Richard, are you? Did you receive a sponsorship with World Gym? I see you're wearing the World Gym tank top. No, these are from across the street, but I decided to wear these World Gym t-shirts. I had put them away, uh, obviously, because World Gym's closed across the street years ago. Right, 2000, 2001. So I, I took them out, and uh, yeah, World Gym, the guy that owns this place is a very nice guy. He's putting in new equipment. If you can't get a good workout in here, you might as well hang it up. I'll tell you a funny story about Richard. Honest to God, the man is the animal lover. We saw a little tiny gecko or lizard running around near a, uh, a large pull-down station. That's and true. he could identify the exact species of really? this lizard. And he went out of his way to rescue the lizard and take him out of the gym. So yeah, I did. I did. I found the lizard over by the men's room. And I knew he would get killed. Somebody would come in here and kill him. So I took him out and put him in the bushes so he would survive. You know, just like you might do in India. Because you never know if you believe in uh, reincarnation or uh, you never know. You kill a living thing. If you save a living thing, maybe I'll get saved. Maybe I won't go to hell. But Doubt that does not, that's unlikely. H highly doubtful, Richard. <laughs> so anyway, um, just a quick little explanation. Delray Misfits, yes, we are going to still be filming the videos. I had a little talk with the owners of the gym. They're a couple of incredibly nice gentlemen. We had a great talk last week for about 20 minutes. Just about the videos and the content, what we put on camera. Uh, we just want to make sure we keep things sanitized and clean. We don't want to offend anybody. And I let them know that if I ever film something that offends anyone or someone complains about, to let me know immediately. And I can either delete the video, try to edit it out. So, you know, the, the World Gym rules come before anything else. Absolutely. And um, we enjoy filming these videos and I don't want to do anything to risk the ability to film them or my membership here. I, that I definitely don't want to do, so I will abide by all the rules. And if you lose this, you have to go to Curves across the street. Hey, Richard, you can join with me, right? What's that? You want to join Curves across the street with me? Yeah, I'll join Curves, and then I'll end up with every disease that you can possibly have. I do have a serious question for you, Richard. Someone right. wanted to know about your experience in Vietnam. Someone wanted to know if you were in Nam. No, I was not in Vietnam. I was drafted to go to Vietnam, but I had a high lottery number, and the war ended right before they called my group. You had to go in, take your urine test, get ready to go, and it was done by lottery. And I was lottery number 300 and something. Uh, and right before they called my group, the war ended. So I, I got lucky and didn't have to go. But I have friends that went to Vietnam. I have one friend that lost his leg. Uh, another guy came back, he wasn't right in the head. I'm glad I didn't have to go. But again, I didn't go to Canada either, like some of the pussies in this country. They took off to Canada because they didn't want to go fight and, and be brave for this country, like our fathers did in World War II. My dad was in World War II. He was in Patton's army. He was in foxholes, fighting his way into uh, 
you know, into in Germany. Oh, there as well, if I could. Go ahead, Mike. The floor is um, yours. So yes, I understand people have been asking if my book is going to be available, ebook, Kindle. I'm going to be making it as such. May even be an audio book. So I'm just kind of working uh, with the publisher to accomplish all of that. So thank you very much for the interest. Also, someone I forget the person's screen name, so forgive me. Asked about whether exercise really allowed me to go from using a walker to transition to using a cane. I'll bring in a picture to prove it. I have a picture of 16 years old where I was training and I was using a walker at that time. Um, I was actually getting ready to compete for a bodybuilding competition. So I'm going to bring in that photo to prove it to you. But yes, it certainly did. Um, so it is true. So working out the legs hard, the upper body, the core, a lot of your transition. So I'll bring that in to show you. Thanks for your interest. Good stuff, Mike. Listen, Mike, I'm going to get you a bar of soap for Christmas, and I want you to get me an iPad. All right, that's the deal. I'll get you a bar of soap, and you can get me an iPad. Sounds like I'm getting the short end of the stick. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should get you the bar of soap to Richard. clean up your act. Get him about 10 bars of soap and a jug of bleach. That's what, that's what Richard needs to clean up his act. Man. Dump it on his head. I love when Richard laughs. You can, you can hear it from down in Miami, Richard's deep, booming laugh. Yeah. I, I guess I do need to film some workout footage this morning. So, Richard's doing his customary Smith Machine bench pressing on a Saturday. Just warming it up. Doing a little narrating while you're benching. Little little warm-ups, warm-ups. I want to jump right in and start with heavyweight. That's how you enter yourself. So I always encourage people to do warm-ups. Warm your muscles up. Tell them what's going to happen. And you don't want to warm up too much because then you'll lose your strength to go into the heavyweight. Then you go right into what you're gonna, like I, this weight is a routine weight to stay in shape. And I'll do this until I fail. I'll spend uh, about an hour using this weight until I fail. I'll do as many sets and reps as I can over and over and over again. And then I'll lighten it up and just finish off with a few sets and reps. I'll do decline, incline, if I have the time. And uh, Saturdays is my chest workout day. You know, Edgar, he's one of the owners here. I, I met him uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, he bought the gym. He's fixing it up. He recovered all the equipment in here. He put in new machines. He put in new cardio. I mean, the guy's really stepping up to the plate. This gym is going to be fantastic, this world's gym. And it's only 10 bucks a month. I would encourage you to come to the gym and join, or if you left the gym because of the way it was years ago, I would come back. They got great equipment, they're keeping the place clean, they're keeping the bathrooms clean. This guy, Edgar, has a total different philosophy. Uh, he's a great guy, and you could talk to him, and uh, I would tell you to come back. I won't get in your face if you come back, uh, but if you want my help in working out, I'll be glad to help you also. Now, the, the two owners of this gym are, are total stand-up guys. They are. I had a great 20-minute talk with them, and it could not have gone better with respect to these videos that we do, these misfit videos. They find them entertaining, and I told them that um, I will contour them any way they want me to. Anything they don't want in the videos, we won't put in them. Two super cool guys, and... Um, I haven't met Edgar's partner. Uh, do you know his, remember his Ken name? is great. Ken? Ken. I had a great meeting with both of them. And um, the things they're doing with this gym, which just six months ago was a total hellhole. It was in shambles. The gym was in shambles. It was, they were using duct tape to cover and up. The, what these guys have done with this gym in a short period of time is really amazing. World Gym here in Delray Beach. If you're ever in the area, come work out here. I definitely agree. You can work out with Richard and Mike and me. Well, I don't know if you want to come out and work out with Mike. <laughs> <laughs> but you can come and work out with me. Not with me, but you can work near me. Just don't touch any equipment while I'm That's on. right. If Richard's using a piece of equipment, just don't touch it while he's on it. <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> That's a, a one-way ticket to Richard's uh, shit list. Sean is in the house this morning doing some upright rows. Boys and girls, how are you doing today? 
We're doing just fine, Tom. Actually, Sean, believe it or not, not that I want to interrupt you while you're doing your set, a lot of people have sent comments and messages saying they want to see more of you on camera. They want to see more footage of you working out. So I am obliging. What are you training today? Shoulders and legs? Your shoulders and arms. Keeping the blood moving. Trying to catch up to Richard back there. <laughs> not, not an easy task. <laughs> no, definitely not an easy task. All right, normally Saul is my hired cameraman. Sean, the camera is yours. I figure I'll jump on camera today. Um, just, I'm doing my burnout set. Whoa, you're gonna cut it the other way. Okay. There you go, like that. I'm gonna do my, this is my fifth set of standing uh, military presses. I'm gonna do my set here. Just try to get like between 12 and 15 if I can. Uh, very, very impressive wait for eight o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and about six drinks last night with a splitting headache. So, okay, he's got some carbohydrates going. <laughs> Is this one of your preferred shoulder movements, Andrew? Definitely. If nothing else was available, this is what you'd be doing. Just don't yell at me for doing this in the squat rack. Okay. Good form, Andrew. Good form. Thank you, Big Richard. Go, go. We have the uh, we have the mutual the mutual admiration society in this gym on many mornings. I don't like when people curl or military press in the squat rack. It's like a one-way ticket to getting yelled at in a lot of gyms. But no, that's the that's the way it was done in the old days. That's right. I'm telling you, 40 years ago, that's what we used to do. We'd go to a squat rack and military presses. The other way to do it is if somebody was on the squat rack, you'd have to pull her off the ground and do it, which was a pain in the ass. This way you could pull off more weight easier. But that's the way we did it in the old days. If somebody wanted to use the squat rack, they'd ask you, you might, you know. Uh, they didn't have Smith machines. They were invented about, I don't know. Nin nine, 1970s? Ago. Uh, 19, 1970s, yeah. Something like that. Oh, they do have a nice seated military press machine here next to the Smith, but I just prefer them standing up. I feel like it makes me tighten up my core. Feel it on my legs, even my butt. You gotta tighten Emperor everything up Saul has when you once press. again blessed so. us with his Good presence advice. at the gym. He's not even here to train. He just comes here to say hello to everybody. Come in and say hello to everybody. And see everything's okay. How, everything look good to you? I'll be coming back this uh, late this afternoon. This late afternoon to train to, to do some workout. You have to work today. Is that correct? Yeah. What's a man your age doing working, Saul? You should be retired on the beach, That's drinking it. pina coladas <laughs> in a hot tub with a couple of well, pretty females. It, keep, it keeps me going. That's good. It keeps me going. That. Good stuff. Work it out. Uh-oh. Keep me going. Watch your back, Saul. Oh. Watch your back, Saul. Okay. Watch your back. Oh, well, Jim. What are you trying to sneak in here, Saul, without me knowing about it? No, I, I, you, you were busy over there. I won't let the wrong. Saul, I'm telling you, I was very impressed with the article you gave me about oh. your granddaughter. Oh, thank you. Your granddaughter is very talented. Thank you. I'm very impressed with the article, and I think she's amazing, and she's going to be a celebrity one day. I, I hope so. I think so. And just to tell you, I think genetically, your great genes passed on to her. Thank you. You know, I get on your case when you're in the gym. I know you do. But I, I think you're a decent guy, Saul. And of course, I'm a big culture artist. <laughs> <laughs> but I understand. Hey, Saul. I know you mean it from the heart. It's from the heart, Saul. I know. Hey, Saul, Saul has a birthday coming up. Be nice to him, right? Yeah. You do? Saul, how old are you going to be? I don't know if it's a rumor. I or hope or I look as good as you do when I'm your age. Uber, but they, they, people were telling me yeah. that when it comes to birthdays, yeah. you give very expensive gifts. I do. I gave a guy so, like you last year so a brand new Bentley. No, 
you still got time because yeah. it's December the first. Okay, so, yeah. I gave a guy a Bentley. A he a Bentley? he gave me uh, <laughs> a, a pickup sticks, a game pickup sticks. That's what he bought for me. Oh really? I'm surprised he didn't buy me Boggle. That's only like a dollar. He should have bought you a yo-yo. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> Unbelievable. Good to see you, Saul. I gotta go do a set, man. Okay. I gotta be at work the soon. Equipment. There's other people here that would like to use the equipment. He he gets on this uh, this bicep machine for a freaking hour, and you know, I might want to use it, except I can't put enough weight on here to really build my biceps. Anyhow, I could build them more lifting up a spoon eating cereal in the morning. <laughs> What's that old Matrix saying? Don't be the spoon? How does that go? Don't be the spoon? You're gonna lose it. Oh, yeah. Um, Don't try to move the spoon. Because there is no spoon. There is no spoon. Something like that. Well, you must be... There is no Big Richard. Right. I'm a, there is no World I'm Gym in Delray Beach. I move the bicep curl machine with my mind. The power of my mind. Richard my is just... Your intellect. You're a legend in your own mind. Yes. Also. Richard's just like a nightmare, a figment of your imagination. My life in the past two years has been a nightmare. It's like being in hell. Richard's like Freddy Krueger. I heard this uh, country western song the other day on the radio, and the guy says in the song, the lyrics are, if you feel like your life is a hell, go through it, keep going fast before the devil knows you're even there. Which is pretty good. Pretty good uh, sense. I imagine you as, Mike, as Michael Douglas in Falling Down which was a wonderful movie. I'll redeem myself with yeah. movie references. Actually, I would have liked to have been a consultant in that movie because I would have been even a worse, a more of a badass than he was in that movie. I would go attacking everybody with a baseball bat. He I just walk around pig. beating people senselessly that looked at me cross-eyed. I love that movie. That was a, that's a real, that's like a reality. How that's many times do you want to, yeah, how many times would you like to, somebody cut you off in a car, you'd like to beat him in the head with a bat. Right. And they shoot you a bird when they were the ones that were at fault. You know, you go into a store, you get screwed. Uh, they sell you something that doesn't work, or you go in a restaurant, and you have a meal and it's shit. We well, walked to the Burger King one minute late. He wanted breakfast, and they would only serve lunch. Right, exactly. Give me a break. You know, right. give me a break. You want to take a bath to the guy behind the counter. You know, what's this world coming to? Nobody goes out of their way for anybody anymore. You know, if you needed my help, if you fell down because you were drunk and you were laying in the parking lot, I would I would help you. I would put a sheet over you so no one would see you. Well, I have a true story. Actually, I was in a restaurant, I won't say where, and I fell. And I had a very terrible fall. And it, it was very crowded. It was a very crowded restaurant. Not yeah. one single person would help me. One person, after 15 minutes, came by a waiter and said, Wait, did you just say one five? 15 minutes? 15 minutes, I was Holy on the floor, shit. and a waiter came by, again, I won't say the restaurant, but it was here locally, and one person came, a waiter came by and said, can I offer you a Band-Aid? A Band-Aid? A Band-Aid. What good is a Band-Aid going I to do? I can't tell you how many times I've been sitting at a restaurant where I see an elderly person start walking into the restaurant, they fall. Right. I get up immediately and pick them up. I was coming out of a movie theater, I saw an old man. Yeah, I think if Big Richard fell down in the gym, everybody would just line up to kick him. Well, we would feel the tremors, there'd be a giant earthquake. I'd throw weights at him. <laughs> right? If Big Richard tripped and fell and couldn't get up, you'd see a line of people going out the gym door to, uh, to drop 45-pound plates on his head. We could sell memberships in droves just for that uh, privilege. I'm saying, Richard, if, if you fell down in the gym and you couldn't get up, uh-oh, he's coming over here. I better get ready to run. There would be a line going out the door of people waiting to drop weight plates on your head, oh, kick really? you, it stomp on your, stomp yeah, on your jet. probably would walk over and pee on me. Stomp on your genitals. What? If he fell down in the gym? If Richard fell down in the gym, forget it. He, I'd be the first guy there to help him up. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? You doing a set, Mike? I'm doing a set. Hitting those biceps? I am hitting the biceps. I'll even forgo the music. Are you going to film this? Or? Sure, why not? If you don't mind. Well, I'll leave off my Michael Bolton music. That usually fires me up, but... <laughs> so, uh, I do these unilaterally. This machine tops out at uh, 120. So I start by doing it unilaterally. Um, this is set at level... You got... Uh, I want nine. I don't really know how this thing works. Nine. Level nine on there. So we'll see what we can do. I hope I don't choke on camera. I have a feeling you will not. That would be embarrassing. It's always easier with two arms for some reason. Okay. 
Nice and slow. Hold the contraction. <sighs> Squeeze at the top. Mike, your form is perfect. What do they call that? Ready, fire, aim? Come on, come on. This is the one you go on. Good set, bro. So I was six, I believe. Give other people a chance to work out and get in shape. I know you're in great shape, and you don't really care if other people drop dead, more or less. Did you take but your medicine this morning? I didn't take my medicine, no. Do you have any Ellaville? I almost had to go Big Richard on uh, poor Alan for almost stealing my machine. You did? Yeah. Oh. Well, you see, Alan, he hurt his knee. He overtrains. I've been telling him he's overtraining. Oh, you, you are limping, Alan. What happened? I yeah, see you got a little limp. He, he overtrains. He trains too much. He, he's in there every day, sometimes twice a day. I'm trying to tell the guy, look, his wife loves him no matter what he looks like. And he doesn't want to listen to me. Well, we got to call this a wrap because I have to get to work. All right, all right. Get my day started, unfortunately. Good to see everybody. The, and, uh, the Kindler Chindler, Big Richard at World Gym Delray Beach. Right. A very happy I'm Big very Richard. very kind and very gentle. Yes, you are. We all know this. All right. <laughs> <laughs> See everybody next time. Okay.